Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Caitlin, and today we are continuing the Monsters in Moments sketchbook. So I have quite a few pages to go. I have to finish this up pretty soon. Um, it is due back by August 15th, and today is July 27th. So it's gonna be kind of a marathon to the end. I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 11 to go. So what I'm thinking We'll do probably about two to three more episodes of this, and I'm gonna try to bang out what's left. So I'm gonna be taking the suggestions that have already been posted on YouTube and Discord and Twitter and putting them in the sketchbook. So you guys sent me a lot of fun monsters and moments ideas. Basically what it is is I'm taking a monster and having them do a real life moment. For example, this is a Hydra playing golf. I thought that was such a fun and cute idea and you guys have been suggesting a lot of fun ideas. So today for the new one, I have a couple of ideas that you guys sent me over on YouTube. I was thinking we'll just do a bunch of YouTube comments for this video. So first off from Tegu Smith, sorry if I butchered your username, do a dragon cooking at a barbecue. And that sounds super cute. I would love a big kiss the cook dragon or something like that, but let's jump in and get this one started. All right, let's get in and start this sketch. So at least what I'm thinking would be really cute is kind of having one of those little small round portable barbecues. I think that would be just like a perfect little thing next to this really big dragon. I actually am like the main barbecuer in the house. Like Josh has been slowly doing it more and more, but uh, I, I really like grilling. So I'm not saying grilling is just a dad thing, but I know growing up, my dad always was the one on the grill. So it just, it just feels like such a dad thing to me. And it's funny and I love it. Of course, with this barbecue, we're gonna have to have all meat because it's a dragon. And he probably does not have any veggies. He's very much a, uh, a meat bro. <laughs> Let's figure this guy out. So I'm thinking in terms of proportions, I kind of want him, like I love the idea of him like standing at the barbecue, holding his like little tongs, waiting to flip the meat. I also kind of want him holding like a beer or something. I think that would be really cute. <laughs> All right, so we got his little tongs his hand and then on this arm got a little hand with a beer generally I'm just trying to rough it in really really rough so I can get an idea of what I want this to look like and since we can see the bottom of the barbecue it's gonna have to be like a full body of this dragon so I'm thinking he'd probably have most of his weight on this leg and then kind of have the weight displaced over here a little bit. And then I want this dragon to have wings because on the cover we already had kind of the Asian lung style dragon. And I think this one, we should do more of the European style dragon with like the bat wings, something like that. Yeah, I think that's looking pretty, pretty cute. So let's go in, I'm gonna refine some of these details so that I know what I'm inking. I think the dragon would probably be one of the best creatures to have at your barbecue and stand over the barbecue. Because I know, like for me, when I'm grilling or out on the barbecue for a long time, um, the heat is just the hardest part, especially here in Arizona. The heat in summer is unbearable. It is awful to stand outside and grill during the summer. Because I know like everyone's like, oh yeah, you know, summer, we're gonna grill and do this and that and stand outside and have some watermelon and like grill and have water sports for the kids or whatever. No, in Arizona, it's just like heat death. <laughs> I mean, it's totally possible to do that, but when it's like 112 degrees outside, no amount of like little kitty pool or cold drink or anything will cool you off, especially if you're standing over a grill, it is awful. Oh my gosh, I totally want to give this guy some sunglasses too. Like, how cute would it, yes. Oh my gosh, I love him. <laughs> I think what I really like about this series is it just feels like so much character and personality in all of these drawings. And that has just been so fun for me. I just love 
bringing these characters to life and like converting these creatures into uh, like more real life people. It's so cute. I know uh, I've had a couple of friends tell me that they think these would be really cute as little greeting cards or prints. Um, so I'd love to know what you guys think. Like if I was to sell these as maybe like stickers or greeting cards or like little prints or something, uh, what do you think? What would you be interested in? Would you want to get a couple of these guys? Like maybe a little art book or something? Let me know your thoughts. And with that, I'm actually going to tease a little thing here. I have a uh, sticker campaign coming up that I'm thinking about dropping sometime in late August or early September. So then we can get it like produced and out in time for Christmas. Um, I'm making uh, some baby monster mashes. So keep an eye out for that. I'm going to be dropping that sticker set sometime later this year. And then there's going to be a special, like, limited edition one that you can get when you buy it when it first drops. So keep an eye out for that. I'll be posting about it when we get a little bit closer to dropping it. All right, I, I absolutely love him. The personality of this guy, I'm trying to think what, maybe we could put like a little tagline on his apron. Cause I thought about like kiss the cook. What's another good one we could put on the apron? Like, God, something maybe about burning. Like, I'll have to look up some catchphrases. Before I get into inking and line art, I think I will do a little bit of Google searching for some cute apron, <laughs> apron ideas. And then I'm gonna go ahead and jump in and do the line work and color. And I'll see you guys on the other side. <laughs> with our little grill master. I really like this one. I think one of my favorite things is the quote that I found. It was like one of the first ones I looked up for um, different quotes for uh, like grilling uh, aprons. That's the word. Um, it says, I cook as good as I look. And I think it looks super cute. It's a little hard to see on camera, but uh, I think it looks really, really cute. And I just, I love our dragon boy. He's so cute. 
my dad also gave me I, me the idea of calling this one uh, no fire starter needed and I love that I absolutely love it so love this first one let's get into the second one all right so what I'm thinking for this next one is we're going to go with Lady Lottie's suggestion which is a werewolf getting his or her fur trimmed at a barber and I think we should keep going with the dad vibe for this episode let's do another like older werewolf gentleman getting his uh hair and beard trimmed at his favorite barber okay so for this one i'm just gonna kind of rough in the bigger general shapes we're of course gonna have the werewolf and like the big barber's cape um and then i do want to show a little bit of the barber like i know the main focus is mostly the werewolf but i was talking to my husband because I stepped away for a second and I'm like, what mythical creature could I make the barber and like make it really cute and cool and fit perfectly? And my husband had the wonderful idea of making it like Sasquatch or Bigfoot. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that is perfect. So we're gonna make a uh, Bigfoot barber cutting a werewolf's hair. And I am so excited. I think it's gonna look super cute. Um, I'm a little intimidated by like how now I don't even know how he would hold a clippers. <laughs> uh, I think this is gonna look really cute. It is kind of like a little weird pose wise. Uh, I think one of my my uh, weaknesses that I do really want to work on is like having two characters interacting. I don't really draw that very often. Um, I don't think I'm awful at it but I do want to get better at it so I really want to make sure that this looks right for the two characters interacting um so yeah I think this is a pretty good general layout and then we can go in and get some more details going but I like I love the idea of like a really hipster barber or like kind of like a barber quartet looking Sasquatch, oh my gosh, Barbershop Quartet Sasquatch would be adorable. So I think I'm gonna give the werewolf kind of uh, a modern haircut in a way. I think it'd be really cute to do that kind of side uh, short and like a bigger top to his hair. I don't know how I'm gonna pull it off, especially because he has ears, so I think his ears would be back and under. But then up here is like short, but he really wants like that cool, like hair up hairstyle type of thing. I'm gonna have to look up some references for that because apparently I don't know how to draw the cool hip hair right now. <laughs> I really want the werewolf to also look like he has like a mustache. I think that'd be super cute. Oh yeah, I like it. It kind of reminds me of like a terrier stash, but honestly, it would be so cute on a werewolf too. <laughs> I love it, oh my God. Okay, then for our Sasquatch, I kind of want to make him like very hairy, but also like very hipster. So uh, I want to make sure that it, it reads well as Sasquatch, but as if Sasquatch was a barber who like knew how to really take care of his hair and mustache and things, like maybe a little bit of a twirl mustache. Kind of kept certain things trim, but then he is still Sasquatch. So he's got a lot of hair going on. And then we have to make sure he has his like pronounced like uh, brow. Yeah, like that. Oh my gosh, I love him. <laughs> oh my gosh, would Sasquatch have a man bun? Yes, he would. Calling it now. So he would still have very long hair because it's Sasquatch, but while he's cutting other people's hair, he's got to put it up in a man bun because that's the only way he'll be able to see like his client's hair. <laughs> I love it. He just looks like a normal guy, <laughs> except with really, really pronounced brow. <laughs> he's kind of reminding me of of Link, or of uh, Rhett a little bit. <laughs> Rhett's got a lot of hair going on right now. At least when I'm recording this for Good Mythical Morning, they're uh, 
Rhett's growing out his hair like crazy long. And I've noticed that. I'm wondering if he's doing it for like something coming up or if, I don't know. I'm just so curious like, or if he just feels like growing his hair long. Cause it feels like to me, he's growing it out for like a very particular reason or a thing, but I'm, I'm just so curious. Okay, here, this is how we add some Sasquatch elements. We just make his hands and arms super fuzzy. I feel I want this other, like maybe his right hand to be doing something. Cause I feel this shoulder just kind of trails off. Like maybe he should have a comb. Yeah, maybe like a comb like back here. Okay, I like that more. I want him to be doing something with his other arm, even if you can't see it super well. I feel it needs to be doing something. I mean, I guess you could maybe see it over here just a little bit. Because his arms look pretty long. I'm wondering if, like, I do like the mustache on him, but I don't know if he looks Sasquatchy enough with it. So maybe we just do the nose and then bring the hair up on the sides a little more. I do like that better in terms of expression. I'm gonna make his beard even bigger. So I want it apparent that this guy is like Sasquatch or something. Yeah, okay, I'm liking how this is looking. I think I'm gonna mess with this arm a little bit more. Cause I don't know if I like how it's sitting. Oh yeah, I like that way more, okay. I think this is a pretty good spot. I think what I'm gonna do from here is go ahead and start some line work and color. Cause I, I think we're at a good spot with this. I think it has some good expression. I really like the hairdo I put on my uh, very trendy werewolf. <laughs> and uh, I really like my Sasquatch uh, barber. So let's go ahead and jump in get some uh get some line work done get some color down then we'll be done another one down I think this one's really cute it turned out better than I expected like I just really like this one I think it's just really fun and simple and it just I, I think it looks good <laughs> I don't really draw like hair clippers ever so this was my attempt at hair clippers <laughs> but I think I think it gets the idea across he's getting his hair cut and uh, getting a nice trim I probably could have put some hair on here, but that would have maybe looked a little weird. So either way, I really like this one. I think it turned out super cute. I, oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, so for this next one, I know I said I was gonna pull all of my inspiration from YouTube, but this next comment was just too good, especially if I'm doing this kind of like mini dad series. I thought this one was just too cute. So over on Discord, Moo posted, a demon dad taking his kids to the pet shelter to get a pet. I think that's really cute and a really fun opportunity to make some weird demon pet. I don't know what it would be, but it's gonna be interesting. So let's just get some sketches going. All right, so I'm kind of thinking it's like the dad is like crouching down a little bit to see 
the pet a little bit closer and I think the kid it would be really cute if the kid was kind of on the ground with the pet I'm very curious how this would uh how this would be like what <laughs> where in hell is there a, a a demon pet animal shelter I just think this is such a cute idea and I just want to make the cutest most derpy dog thing Maybe instead of legs, it has tentacles? Yes. <laughs> All the yes. Oh my gosh, it's a little tentacle dog. So I know it was kids plural. So maybe there's another one kind of hiding behind their dad. Something like this. So maybe they're a little bit scared of the new pet at first. And I know we already did a duo. So what if I did like one more kid? Part of me wants to put, like, a baby hammock. Like, have the, the final kid, like, in one of those front holster baby hammocks. Yep, that's what's going to happen. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to look up reference pictures of how those work. Because <laughs> I have no clue. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Alright, I'm going to add a little bit more detailing. Get some expressions and other things going on these guys. Fun thing with the idea of, like, these being demons is it leaves it like so open for interpretation on how I want to show that these are like demon people. I'm thinking about going for like a combo of like devil but also uh, kind of like a combination of looks like this one I'm kind of thinking like it has this the dad has kind of like a third eye going on or something and then we'll get some really pointed ears. I don't think I've drawn a bald character yet. So what if we did like bald with some little devil horns in the front? Yeah. I think that's really cute. And then we can show some more aspects of like uh, the maybe, oh actually I like the idea of what if all his kids are adopted? I think that'd be so cute. So they all kind of have a little bit different demonic attributes going on. That would be so cute. Babies are hard to draw. Just saying. They're very hard to draw. Oh my gosh, I'm totally giving him crab hands. Like, that was on accident. But then I thought about him from Powerpuff Girls. And instantly wanted to give this little baby some crab hands. Because, I mean, the demon aspect is so open. And then if they're all adopted, it would be even cuter if they all looked a little different. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I think a little girl would be cute for this one, but maybe like more tenderly snake-like hair would be kind of cute. Oh yeah, I'm liking that one. It kind of looks like a Medusa type of vibe, but a little different at the same time. Oh, so cute. All right, creepy puppy. I kind of want him to be a creepy cute. Um, and I love my little tentacle boy. <laughs> Oh, he's so cute. Okay, last last demon boy. Um, maybe... Because I know sometimes the demons have, like, uh, goat faces. I think those are some of, like, the ways that people draw, like, Beelzebub and, like, other depictions of the devil. So maybe we do kind of a goat-like face for this one. Maybe not like full goat, but a little bit of a goat. <laughs> I don't know. I just want him to look like a cute little kid. And aren't aren't baby goats called kids? So it works. It's like a little baby goat kid. <laughs> That's actually very cute. I like that so far. <laughs> Come to Caitlin's channel where she talks about how demons are like super cute and adorable. <laughs> of course we have to make him like a cute little... Uh, goat satyr, but I, I like the idea of still having kind of the demon tail. I don't even know if that's how they depict them. But, you know, this is like a combo. Oh, they're so cute. Let's finish off the dad's foot. I think this is super cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. He's probably the cool dad. The one that gets the kids all the cool stuff. And then his husband is just like, I don't want to get the dog, or I don't want to get the kids a dog. And he's like, but 
but the kids will really like having a pet. It will teach them responsibility and how to take care of things, even though that's kind of counterintuitive for a, uh, for a devil. But I guess maybe he finally got his husband to cave. <laughs> I don't know. I love these guys. All right, I'm going to go ahead and jump in. Let's do some line work and color and finish off our little uh, family of demons. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a bit. There we go. We are done with our final piece for today. I absolutely love this little family. I think it's so cute just having the three kids and the dad with this weird tentacle dog thing. This was such a fun prompt and I, I'm just gonna call this the trifecta of dads because we had, okay, so we got Demon Dad with his three kids going and adopting like their new pet pup thing. And then we have Hipster Dad going and getting a nice clean trim <laughs> with his uh, Sasquatch barber. And then of course we got the uh, grilling god himself, our amazing dragon. I think I'm gonna go back and update this text. Out of everything for this, I think that I'm gonna just go ahead and go back and hit with some white gel pen after this episode. So if you want to see the final picture of this after I apply the white gel pen and everything, make sure to go follow me on Instagram and Twitter where I will be posting the images of these. But anyway, thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking out this video. I'm hoping you're enjoying this little mini series of the monsters and moments. I think just based off of how many pages I have left, I think we'll be able to get two to three more episodes in, maybe two episodes, but I'm really loving these. I think they're so cute. And remember, this is through the Brooklyn Art Library, so then once I get this sent in, I'll post it on my Twitter. You'll be able to find me via this barcode number, which I will include down in the description once I get it sent in. Um, but yeah, you'll be able to find the digital copy, flip through it on there, and then if you do see it on the traveling show, uh, you'll actually be able to pick it up, touch it, feel it, look through it in person which I'm really excited for, but I don't know what they're doing for the COVID situation. But either way, I really love doing this sketchbook and I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. So thank you guys again for stopping by. And if you aren't already, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so then you get notified when I make more videos like this in the future. But anyway, thank you guys and I will see you all next time. Bye everybody. I'd like to take a moment to thank all my patrons over on Patreon. You guys are amazing. If you guys would like to get the Monster of the Month, the Sketch Postcards of the Month, and the Monthly Sticker Club, or any other behind the scene access to my stuff, go check out my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash kmckeg. Thanks guys, and I'll see you next time.